Brisbane Bullets import Shannon Scott is the man tasked with helping Aaron Baines recapture his best form after falling just short with the Cairns Taipans last season. Scott believes his new franchise has the team to take it all the way. He's the American import set to ignite Aaron Baines this season. But Shannon Scott's first encounter with him was less than ideal. I hit a screen by him and my shoulder was probably done for about two or three weeks. So as soon as I signed, my mom was like, you're playing with that guy that hurt your shoulder, right? I'm like, yeah, it's going to be putting a lot of other guys now, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. After a slow but successful season coming back from a serious neck injury, Baines could be about to dominate again. Off season, he didn't miss a day. Uh, practice, he doesn't miss a practice. So you know, that's where the confidence builds, is him being able to back up day in, day out. Um, like He's still one of the biggest problems this league has. I've never been open on so many screens in my life. He just... He does his job and he does it to perfection, basically. Scott has a similar work ethic, something he learned from his father, Charlie, an NBA Hall of Famer and champion with the Boston Celtics. Right now, he just, he's a father figure to me. He doesn't really talk about ball too much. He's just like, basically, he's taught me enough at this point. Go out there, do what you've always done your whole life, and then live with the results. The 30-year-old has played around the world and believes his current team have the cattle to be a contender. It's a lot we can improve on, but, yeah, man, we have a lot of hungry guys, guys that want to play to the very end, guys that know how to play, so I mean, I'm looking forward to it. And 17-year-old Rocco Zakarski is lapping it up. The seven-foot-three wonder kid only got 28 seconds in his debut game, but that's about to change. What we expect is in a double weekend, he's going to have to find opportunity for us and, and come in and, and give us a little bit more than that. So um, it's a big weekend for him for sure. They fly to New Zealand tomorrow for a Thursday night tip-off against the Breakers. Ted Roker for 10 News First.